the warmth of your hands uh, because they're cold blooded. So we usually warm them up for a few minutes and then when we see them starting to move, we place them down at the edge of the water and they enter the water when they're ready to go in. So we always choose a place, ideally their favorite spots is where there's a little pond next to the lake. Um, but if we can't get that, we use a, a part of the lake with the most sheltered. So this corner is a little bit more yeah, sheltered yeah, yeah, yeah. and it has more vegetation as well. It's such a big head right? relative to your body at that yeah. yeah, no kidding. Stuck out. So anyone that would like to hold one or release one, you can come over here. I also have some of the shells yeah. if anyone wants to take a shell home as well. Those yeah. eggshells are very leathery. They don't yeah. feel like uh, bird eggshells at all. all Where right? were they in uh, sort of a gravel? They were area? yeah in the gravel area right up by that building, okay. just the slope coming down. They're all from the path. same nest. All from the same nest. So in that nest, it was a middle-aged female laying the eggs. She would have been about 40. You know that from the uh, number? From the size of the nest and the number of turtles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So she laid 44 eggs. Uh, we found, as soon as we started uh, to dig down, well before the egg chamber, we found four frozen babies that were dead. Uh, we found another two dead in the egg chamber itself. Um, and we had four eggs that never hatched. So of the 44 she laid, she had 17 uh, that got out of the nest successfully. Uh, these ones would not have made it out of the nest. They were at the very bottom and they weren't moving. I wasn't even sure, the, uh, even after a half hour warm, you only could get two of them to move. So we end up warming these guys overnight. Uh, usually we just warm them right up on site and within 10 minutes they're ready to go. Uh -huh. uh, so there's eight, uh, just hold them in our hands okay. just so they're cold blooded, so warm from the hand. So uh, we saved another 18, so we doubled the size of her, of okay. her success. Yeah. Right? Oh, it takes, normally takes 1,400 eggs to get one adult snapping turtle. Oh, oh really? Yeah, they have a really high sure. mortality yeah. rate. You want to reach me in a, out a cold one there, Clarence? All right. <laughs> and then the front paws will usually start going. And this guy's already in the water over here. <laughs> Two more there. So all of these were placed here. So all four of those are. Yeah. So what would you do in, like, from now until it gets... Frozen. Now until it's frozen, they'll eat as much as possible, and then they just bury themselves into the mud. So this guy's ready to go. He's uh, moving his leg. So I'll put him down with insects and carrion. So the adults uh, feed on a lot of carrion. Uh, snapping turtles are very slow compared to other turtles, so they don't chase down any prey. They don't have that ability. Even in the water, they're yeah. not that fast. We heard someone at Moriga watch uh, a snapping turtle catch a loop. Yeah, so uh, sometimes the large snappers can get little baby ducks and they can come up really? underneath if they're wow. floating on the surface, but that's very rare. It doesn't I happen very really often. Surprising. I was quite yeah. traumatized. Look at that. Amazing. So this guy's ready to go now. Yeah. So you said how many will, will approximately sort of live? So the males will stay on site. So these guys will stay here for at least the first three years. Most of them will stay here for the first 19 years until they're ready to breed. Uh, when you say stay here? Right here in the lake. Right. Oh, anywhere in the lake. Yeah. So yeah. most of these, like we've released turtles yeah. and we yeah. come back a couple weeks later and they're only like six inches from where we released them, right? So they don't seem to move around very much. Here, these guys will start to move into the deeper water when they want to hibernate and bury into the mud. This guy's ready to go as well. Again, you can see his legs moving, his head is looking, you know, looking around and he's starting to crawl. So he's ready. So on a normal day, uh, yesterday it was kind of cold and I was here late. Uh, a normal day only takes about 10 minutes to warm them up when they're, they're ready to go. Uh, but like I said last night, it was just it was cold. very cold last night. So. And they were very cold to start off with as well. You want another ready? So, yep. Um, How easy it is. Yeah. I need that ready to go. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. And we'll just put them down here. We got another one ready to go. Great. Wow, look at that, eh?
Because they're cold blooded, so they get the heat from your hands, and and it takes a while for that heat to dissipate, right? So that's why we warm up in the hands to get them going. Yeah. And then once they're moving, they start to generate their own heat. Oh, yeah. It's starting to come out. Oh yeah. No. So Graham, give, give it time to, to put in. I think I put in. This guy's ready. Give it time to put in. Okay. Oh, yeah. Be the judge. <laughs> Oh, so set him there for a second, see if he starts to move. We all start to call. A little bit. So uh, most of the time you don't have to cover with your, your second hand. I noticed some of you are doing that. There's usually enough for warmth just in your, just setting on the palm of your hand. That's usually uh, warm enough. Uh, if you're worried about them walking off your hand, usually we cut the hand a little bit. No, keep them from walking. So most of the time, if you keep an eye on them, you can just hold them flat like this. And this guy does look like it's ready to go. So. You see how many we put here on the island? There's none on the island anymore here. Mm -hmm. We've all moved off. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Here, that one looks ready. Much much looks ready? Yeah, they this do. This one right. looks ready. This yeah. one looks really? relaxed still. Oh, you think so? They overwinter oh. in a shallow environment like yep. this. Yep, they just bury right into they the mud. Them. So, so they're not doing much during their overwintering. So they so once they once they come out, they try to uh, feed as, as much as possible, and then they go into hibernation. So. The healthy turtles all came out three weeks ago, all right? So now we're finding mostly dead and unhealthy turtles. Uh, so hopefully these guys will still have enough time. Um, like I said, we just didn't have enough volunteers to get to Bedford faster. So we're looking for volunteers. We're looking for people. We'll go with you a couple times, train you up what to look for. And we need to still check all the So, So who, when you say we, uh, Clarence, who are you talking the about? The Turtle Patrol Group. That's okay. our group. We started up last year. Oh, okay. We've rescued 132 snapping turtles now. Really? Oh, wow. So wow. We focus mainly on snappers, but we help any other turtles. And, and Clarence, you were saying that um, they've declined in a lot of other lakes? Dra dramatically. So, yeah. give you a good example yeah. on Dartmouth. They used to be in 22 lakes in Dartmouth back yeah. in the 80s, which yeah. is not all that long ago. Yeah. Um, now, uh, there's only three lakes in Dartmouth. Wow. All the other lakes that had them, no signs of what, what, there anymore. What would sort of be attributed to that? Uh, habitat the... loss uh, yeah. and also the decline of the species. So because our roads have gotten so much busier and stuff, the females have to travel to get to nesting sites. So a lot of the females get hit. Um, also turtles are collected for the pet trade and a lot of them are illegally harvest for turtle soup to end wow. up in Asia. From here they're harvested? Yeah. yeah. Really? In Nova Scotia? Really? We haven't detected, we have, no one's been caught in Nova Scotia yet, but yeah. they've been caught everywhere else in Canada, so it has to be happening here. Uh, really wow. big in the States because it's not even illegal really? in the States. Wow. So Nova Scotia, Ontario, uh, the first two places, Ontario just protected their snapping turtles this year. Nova Scotia was the very first place in Canada to protect the snapping turtles, so oh, really? up till then, it wasn't even illegal to harvest wow. the snapping turtles. Wow. Um, so when they went away from the sea turtles, is what they used to use for turtle soup, now they're switched to snappers, right? Yeah. So in the States, there's thousands of snappers that are gathered up. It's not even illegal in most most wow. of the finders is a large restaurant on the waterfront in Philadelphia. Yeah. And it has a special snapper soup. Are you serious? Uh, really? I have a can of it at home actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the only turtle species we have that isn't uh, okay. isn't right. endangered is the Yeah, well, I can feel yeah. movement there. Yeah. Is it? Right. Uh, that's what I'm asking. Oh, I also, if anyone wants an eggshell to take home, I bought a few eggshells. Well, they, they actually dry well. quite nicely. Oh, uh, they? Yeah, and they're very leathery. They're not like uh, painted they... turtles doing well. Yeah. And it's the only one of our it's turtles not that's not declining that yeah. we know yeah. of. Yeah. Hmm. And the reason for that is they can use a very small area. They only need an area the size of a grapefruit for a nap. Huh. So there's still a lot of places that are no longer suitable for snappers because there's not enough habitat. There's still enough habitat for the peanuts. So they're doing a lot, a lot better. <laughs> this little one seems very, very, very calm. Okay. That's because your motherly 
hands. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sometimes Talk and everything else. Anorexic yeah. conditions at the bottom of the lake will... Uh... Anorexic conditions. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. Anorexic. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Anaerobic? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Anorexic. Sorry. Can cause uh, death. In the, uh, I, I've seen a lake on the Ronald Lake in the spring. And, Found, uh, 10 oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Either that or the, or the, yeah. the, the water dump wasn't sufficient to yeah. the frost. Yeah, moving a little bit. Oh, 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 I think they're, they're very, very good at dealing they're with anoxia. A, they're very good at dealing with anoxia. Turtles are amazing. They can spend weeks, weeks without oxygen. So it's snapping it's turtles. The, that would have been the freezing end. Yeah. Probably the freezing end. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. incredibly good at dealing with yeah. animal biosis. Usually the adult snappers are hibernating. The only thing, uh, the, the biggest, uh, the biggest danger is otters will find them sometimes in the winter. Huh. And, oh wow! And they'll eat yeah. them. Yeah. And there are otters in this lake too. Yeah. yeah. Recently you saw them? Yeah. Yeah. Derek saw them. Derek saying saw them. Yeah. <laughs> so, pro approximately, how large will these these turtles grow? Well, they get so the female, uh, so this one's definitely ready to grow. So do we have uh, more females, turtles? The young females are only about that big. The larger females get about this big. The males are the big ones. They get about. Oh, so the males are larger. Okay. Yeah, they're quite a bit larger. So, so the ones that travel overland. Those are the females. Almost always females. A male will only leave, leave area if he's not getting enough food. Okay. Otherwise, he just waits for the females to show up. He has food. He typical male, in other words. Yeah. You know, he, <laughs> typical he's happy. male. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this guy's really raring to go. I think there's. Yeah, there's a couple more to. Yeah. How many do you have? Eighteen. How many have you got so far? I, I lost count. Oh. I How many more do we have? Derek, you got one? They can dive forever, they can stress their metabolism. Give them a little breathe.